Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have a five fast knife review starting this off with this new CJRB. Now, this one actually is a prototype that I was able to get from their site. It is an ARR PM9 steel, their proprietary powdered steel, and it has very thin geometry this thing is an amazing slicer not not only does it have a very broad blade but it has a nice thin blade stock and it gets down nice and thin behind the edge this thing slices like a beast i mean like very very good it has a nice appropriate size choil good ergos back here we have a g10 scales with the g10 backspacer steel liners nice lockup and it is very smooth on the drop. The hole deployment has a nice big hole. It's almost too big. You can almost fit your fingers through it. But it's placed in such a good spot. It is very fidgety. Whether you thumb flick or reverse flick, it is very easy. Very smooth on the drop. And then you have the flipper tab. It's kind of upswept a little bit. And the detent solid. Detent is good. You can push button it or light switch it. Doesn't really matter. Both of them work very well. Then it has a deep carry clip that's not inset, but it is reversible. So good clip. You know, it's chamfered around the edges. Um, you know, they have uh, some different colored versions of these with like uh, not mixed G10, but where they have two different colors on one knife. This one does have the red O-ring, but I mean, like, with the G10, it's two different colors. i um, not sure how I feel about that, but this is nice and comfortable. It is a cool knife. My one little complaint, really, is the lock bar. It's I can easily unlock it, but sometimes I feel like I'm struggling right here because this side is the same depth or the same height as the lock bar itself, but... It's not that big of a deal, and that is a very small nitpick. It is a large size knife, though, and like I said, the usability is really nice to it. Even like right here, I can place my finger on that point and really get down for precision cuts. And yeah, the cutting performance is insane on it. So let's get to the next one. Now, the next one, <clears throat> I'm honestly not a big fan of. This is a new Civivi knife, and. It's really, it's good quality. Don't get me wrong. It's good quality. It's an Eric Oaks design. We have a titanium milled pocket clip that does work just fine. Um, on the way out, it it's not bad on the way out, but I kind of feel like it's a little tight on the way out, but on the way in, it's great. And it's a very small nitpick. It's fine. The clip works great. Um, T8 hardware all the way around. We do have micarta. The detent, oh, <laughs> as I fail it, the detent's fine. It's nice snappy action. Not the most false shutty, but it's very smooth on the drop. Ceramic caged bearings. Now my issue, my issue with this, oh, let me just say, it has a hollow ground recurve Tonto clip point <laughs> it does have a pretty crazy blade so we have a clip point hollow ground nice and thin behind the edge very thin behind the edge and then it has a recurve right here and then it has the tanto more of a japanese style tanto um i you can kind of say just because it's rounded up here uh but my problem with it is this lock bar it's chamfered if i zoom in really close and it's chamfered on the edge. Do you see how it's kind of shining back at you? It's chamfered right on the edge. And it's slippery. Right there. You can kind of see how it's chamfered on the edges of the peak of the lock bar right here. So they put jimping there, but then they chamfered the edges. And it makes it where I feel like I'm slipping off of it when I unlock it. And that's the really the only problem I have with it. It is a small, compact knife, um, so it's not like a hard user or anything like that, but it's not horrible in the hand. I feel the clip quite a bit, but when I unlock it, it just makes me constantly feel like I'm slipping, and I don't like that. And it might be just a me thing. You could get it and be just fine with it, but to me, that's my issue with it, and I, it keeps it from me wanting to carry it for that reason. 
I like good access to the lock bar and secure unlocking ability. But, you know, to each their own. Next, really quick, we have the Civivi Praxis. One of my favorite budget knives of all time. This thing is absolutely amazing. Full-size knife, 9CR, 18 MOV. Now, they are coming out with a new version of this. Um, they got it with wood scales and then micarta. So, I really wish they would have did 14C. But, so, I should have one of those here pretty soon. Can't wait to check that out. The action and detent on these are just perfection. The blade shape is somewhat of a spear point blade shape with amazing geometry. Nice and thin behind the edge. The cutting performance of these is just incredible. You can do repeat cuts and the geometry just takes over. Um, the lock bar access is really good. Lock up is rock solid, super solid. Nice and smooth on the drop. I also wish they put a hole in this thing because man this thing has so much room for a hole but the knife itself deep carry clip reversible and it's affordable that's the beauty of it it's affordable and it is such a fantastic user you can easily do utility cuts um you can get great comfortable hammer grips for really you know putting pressure down onto something the choil is great the plunge grinds far away from the edge it's easy to sharpen because, you know, one, the steel is more of a, a simple steel while also still having good qualities to it. And it's a stainless, but it's nice and thin behind the edge. So you can sharpen it up really quick. Just, man, it's such a great knife. Love this one. By the way. Don't forget to check out the description for discount codes and links to all this stuff. Whatever, if I if you want to see something I didn't mention or anything like that, the links will be all down there in the description, including discount codes. Next is a new exclusive from Kaiser. We have the Kaiser Mini Gemini. So this is a Ray Laconico design. And it is a mini Gemini with aluminum scales. Comes in blue or red. And the aluminum does make it feel a little bit more premium. Deep carry clip, not inset, and it's not reversible. But Kaiser has just gotten their detents down pat. Very smooth on the drop. The sound is really nice. I recently did a first impressions on this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I've had many Geminis, um, and they're a great knife. Just a solid little user, great blade shape, beautiful drop point, nice and thin behind the edge, good geometry. Uh, my one complaint about it is the plunge grind is really close to the edge. Ray Laconico tends to do that pretty often um, with his designs. The access to the lock bar is so good, but... It just, when you break the detent, it's like impossible to fail. So good. But yeah, the coating on the aluminum, you know, you, you don't want to toss it around on rocks or anything. It will get scratched up. That's the way aluminum is. But it is still a metal. So, you know, you have a little bit more weight to it. It feels a little bit more substantial. has a strength to it that, you know, G10 or... FRN does not have. N690 steel. I'm not the biggest fan of N690 in 2022. It's okay. Nothing wrong with it, but there's so many great steels out there that I think they could have did a little bit better steel on that one. And last, we have this new CM Designs Kubi in 14C28N. I'm really happy to see Kubi using 14C. This is a pretty solid knife. The ergos are so comfortable in the hand. 
The plunge grind in choil is really nice. It's far away from the edge. You have a lot of life to sharpen off before you hit the choil. You can technically use it to, to kind of choke up a little bit, but even without doing that, you can get it nice and close to the edge. The blade shape is a nice drop point blade that has a small amount of belly, but it tapers up. So it's going to be very effective at utility cuts, but also be just fine for slicing and things like that. Very, very smooth on the drop. Now it has a mohawk front flipper, so you can use your thumb to flip it, or you can just flip it like a regular flipper. And it works great. The access to the lock bar, not like a lot, but you can get it. But yeah, there's a, it's the jimpings poking out on this side by a little tiny bit. And then they have a little tiny cutout on this side. So it's not hard to get to. I wish it was a little bit more because I also wish the hole was a little bit more exposed. I can get it. I can flip it just fine. Technically, lefties have a little bit more room than righties. Because on this side, you know, it's a little bit more blocked than on this side. But it still works great. And it's super smooth on the drop. Has a reversible deep carry clip. Not in set, but it, there's flat screws. So it's really nice in and out of the pocket. The jimping is great jimping for a front flipper. And it works great, man. Super comfortable in the hand. It's not a big knife. Um, it is a medium-sized knife. Nice big hardware all the way around. So solidly built, man. Kubi is knocking knives out of the park in 2022. Um, rock solid lockup, perfectly centered. Um, the action and detents have been amazing. Their their heat treats have been pretty decent. You know, not bad. So I man, I applaud them this year. Now this one has a stone wash on there, which I really like as well. Um, but it has, also has a good stainless steel, one of my favorite budget steels, which is 14C28N. Amazing, amazing steel. It takes an incredible edge, easy to sharpen, straps back really good, um, takes just about whatever edge you want to put on there. It holds really low angles, so you can get really fine edges, and it does really good with really fine edges and... Um, Low angles because originally, you know, the steel was designed around uh, uh, razor blades. So it has the ability to, to be really good with really, really thin geometry, which is amazing. But there you guys go. Just a quick fast five. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Everything will be linked below. Peace.